Hey everyone, Karen Dubs here, FlexibleWarrior.com. When I'm in a hurry, which is by the way, most days, and I wanna get a short, effective workout in, what I typically do is set my gym boss up, which is an interval timer, makes it really easy to make an effective workout in a short amount of time. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'll put the description for this product, by the way, in the notes of my video, in case you wanna check it out. So we're gonna do a lower body, workout today focused on a little bit of cardio, get your heart rate up, a little circulation, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, 10 rounds. Okay, so I hope you'll join me. Go ahead and step to the front edge of your mat. I bet, again, by the way, if you don't have any equipment, you're good to go. You don't need anything. A mat is ideal, but you don't even have to have that. Okay, 45 seconds of work. We're going to start with a warm up first. So let me set this down. Just a moderate warm up. How about let's do a vinyasa. So take a deep breath in, reach for the sky. Again, really commit to making the most out of your 10 to 15 minutes. Forward fold, you'll be amazed at how much you can get done in that short amount of time. Bend your knees if your hamstrings are tight in this forward fold. Halfway lift, take a huge breath in, extend your spine. Hands can be on your shins, belly pulls in, shoulders back. Exhale, forward fold, step to a plank. We're gonna take five deep breaths in our plank pose. Really spread the fingertips out wide, engage the core to really strengthen the center of your body. Take three more deep breaths in and out through your nose. Focus your eyes just a little bit out in front of your mat. That'll help you create a little bit more space in your spine. You're gonna shift a little bit to your toes, bend your elbows, lower all the way down to your mat. Inhale, open up the chest. This is Cobra. Hug the elbows in, make sure the shoulders are sliding down. So if this is happening, really pull the shoulders down and hug the elbows in. Good, curl your toes, engage your core, lift into downward facing dog, and take three breaths here. You can pedal at your heels. If your hamstrings are feeling tight and your calves are tight, bend your left knee, drop your right heel, bend your right knee, drop your left heel, and just continue to pedal right and left. That should feel really good on the calves and the ankles. One more time on each side. Then go ahead and step to the front edge of your mat. Make sure you line up your toes. I'm gonna grab my gym boss here and we're gonna just start our first 45 second interval. So what you're gonna do is come into chair pose, weight into the heels, toes light, and then hands come to prayer. We're gonna do a chair flow. So you're gonna inhale, stand up tall, reach a little bit up and back, exhale, sit down low. You are welcome, by the way, to go a little faster than me or a little slower. Okay, so do whatever pace feels good for your body. You wanna squeeze the knees in and make sure the weight stays in the heels as you sit down. So heels are heavy, toes are light. The breathing is you're gonna inhale as you stand up and stretch back, exhale as you sink down. Okay, a couple more. 10 seconds left. Just warming up the legs gently. And last one. Perfect, so you're gonna come into balance, so go ahead and just uh, shift your weight into your right foot. You're gonna pull your left knee in. Make sure your chest is up tall, your shoulders are pulled back and down. Our first exercise, our next exercise is gonna be a single leg deadlift, just with body weight. So you're gonna go ahead and lower down, tap your fingers if you can, a little bend in your knee is fine. Maintain your balance as you stand back up. And that's your exercise, so lower down and tap, lift up, and stand tall. Now if you do lose your balance, you're not gonna stress about it. You're gonna to continue to flow and do the best that you can. This is great for ankle stability as well, good for hamstrings and glutes. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift and squeeze the knee into the chest. Continue, you got about 15 seconds left. Stay with it, five seconds. Let's get one more rep in. Awesome job. Okay, next interval, you're gonna come into a lunge position. So sinking the hips low, lifting the chest high. The next exercise is gonna be a single leg downward dog and we're gonna do a lift and lower. So um, press your palms, lift that right leg straight up to the sky. You're gonna lower and tap it and lift and extend it. Lower and tap, lift and extend. Lower and tap, lift and extend. Continue to lift and lower with your breath squeezing the glute and the hamstring. Make sure you're pressing through your palms evenly. Having a little microphone difficulty, but I want you guys to continue to lift and lower with your breath. You've got five seconds. 
You should really feel that in the glute. And one, good. That leg that was lifted, I want you to go ahead and step it forward. Help it forward if it needs so that the knee is right out over the ankle. And we're gonna come into a lunge position. So the next exercise is gonna be a lunge and kick. Again, this is where you're gonna get your heart rate up just a little bit, get that circulation. So lunge, kick, lunge. Again, still working that lower body, glute and hamstring. You're probably starting to feel it now. And we've got about 30 seconds left of this. So again, feel free to go a little faster or a little slower. You always honor, protect, and listen to your body, right? Yes. <laughs> All right, the answer is yes. Lower and lift. Now make sure you keep your heart up the whole time and use your arms here too. So really like as you kick forward, throw those arms back. Good, stay with it five seconds. Feeling in that, that glute. Last one, good. Now maintain your balance if you can. You're gonna fold your ankle over your standing leg knee. A little bend in the knee is great. Again, glute, but hip on the side with the leg out folded in front of you. Hands and heart center, you're gonna lift and lower and extend and stand up. So maybe just like three to four inches, range of motion lower down, lift up. Now we are gonna stretch this hip. Don't you worry about that, of course we will. So stay with it, work through it. Make this 10 minutes really work for you, okay? Again, if you do lose your balance, what do you do? You stay with it, you do the best you can. Some days your balance is really so good, and some days not so much. 10 seconds. Focus your eyes, that helps a lot. And last one. Perfect job, you feeling it? Yeah. Hands at heart center, take a deep breath in. Really reach for the sky, come into a forward fold, your little hamstring stretch. Inhale, halfway lift, extend your spine. We're gonna repeat this all on the other side. Forward fold, stretch it out, and then come back into that chair pose, hands at heart center. Take a deep breath in as you rise up and stretch back and lower down. Lifting up and breathing, lowering, sinking down. So again, feel free to go faster or feel free to go slower. It's your workout. Again, this gym boss is awesome because it keeps you on task. You know, if your phone rings, your, um, your timer goes off or your washer or dryer, whatever it is, and you're like, oh, I'm distracted. But the gym boss keeps you on task and you really make the most out of it. You don't have to do 10 minutes. You could do 20 minutes, whatever works for you, okay. Now we're gonna come into that single leg deadlift. So shift your weight to your left foot, pull your right knee to your chest, lift your chest tall. Again, if you lose your balance, just get back in, squeeze your shoulder blades together, squeeze your thigh to your rib cage. Single leg deadlift, lower down, tap your fingers to the floor if you can, and then lift back up. Lower down and tap, lift and squeeze. Now really keep your core engaged. We're not doing core today, we'll do that on another day. Uh, a 10 minutes of abs, right? You guys will love that. But for today, I want you to still maintain your core, keep that center engaged as you flow through these exercises. So even though it's not technically a core day, you're still initiating a lot of what you do from the center of your body. Five seconds. And one, now we're gonna come into that lunge position. So hands are on either side of your front foot, hips are sinking low, chest is lifting high. You feel that stretch through the back hip flexor quad. We're gonna do that leg lift. So the left leg that's in front of you is gonna go straight to the sky, right? Spread through your palms, lower and tap that foot down. Extend and squeeze, lower and tap. Extend and squeeze, lower and tap. So continue to lift and lower, making sure that you're lifting through fullest range of motion. Don't cheat yourself through this. If you're feeling it, heart rate is getting up, a little heat in your body, you know you're making the most of this 10 minutes. Stay with it. Breathe and lift. Put awareness on your hands too. Really press through your palms. Lift that foot up as high to the ceiling as you can. 
Let the weight of your head relax. Couple more, stay with it. Good job. Now step that foot up and through your hands. Help it forward if it knees. Your knee should be right out over your ankle. You're gonna come to that high lunge position, right? Here we are, chest is lifted. We're gonna do that lunge kick. You ready? Take a deep breath in, lunge, kick, lunge, kick. Remember to use your arms here too. I like to have my hands out in front of me and then throw the arms back as I kick forward. The idea here is to really go fullest range of motion, getting a little bit of heart rate lifted, a moderate amount of cardio, just to create a little heat and circulation in your body. Again, making the most out of your 10 minutes. All right, about 15 seconds to go. Stay with it. Five seconds. Finish strong here. And one. Good, maintain your balance if you can. Again, if you weeble wobble, it's okay. Knee is gonna come to the chest, externally rotate to the side. Ankle is over the thigh, hands at heart center. Heart rate a little bit up, mine too. Lower and dip, lift and extend. Lower and dip. So you're working strength and balance on the standing leg. I probably don't have to tell you that, <laughs> you feel it. And then we're working a little hip stretch on the leg that's folded out in front. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. Stay with it, this is your last one and then we're gonna stretch a little bit. Good, really engage that glute. Work your balance and your strength. You have about 10 seconds left. Okay, you can do it. Last one. And up. Good, toes together to touch. Awesome job, take a huge breath in. Exhale into a forward fold. Bow your head forward, relax your chin to your chest. Inhale, look forward. Come halfway up, hands can be to shins. If your hamstrings are tight, otherwise fingertips can be right out beside your pinky toes. That series of beeps means we're done, we did it. Exhale, forward fold. We're just gonna stretch a little bit. I want you to come to plank first. Exhale, lower all the way down to your stomach. Inhale into a little back bend. Open the chest and the heart. Exhale into a downward dog. We're just gonna do a quick hip and hamstring stretch. So the right foot's gonna step up and through the hands. You're just gonna pull your hips back and come into a runner's lunge. And we're gonna take five deep breaths here to really stretch that hamstring. So to slow the heart rate down, I want you to really lengthen out your inhale. And then extend and fold out over your leg as you exhale, hi Leo. So this is my third rescue pup, Leo. And he loves yoga. <laughs> Anytime I roll out my yoga mat. All right, bud, one more breath. And then go ahead and release and come back to plank. We're gonna do a vinyasa, so go ahead and lower half or all the way down. You can come into upward facing dog if you wanna to come to the tops of your feet. And then back to downward facing dog. So you get that good hamstring and calf stretch. Step your left foot up and through your hands. Release your back knee for runner's lunge again. So you're gonna pull your hips back, fold out over your front leg. Enjoy that hamstring stretch. Deep breaths in and out of your nose just to slow things down. So just a two minute stretch here at the end to get the hips and hamstrings open. One more breath here in your runner's lunge. Go ahead and shift your weight forward, curl your toes, step back to downward facing dog. Now we're gonna do pigeon stretch next. So you're gonna bring the right knee up to the right wrist, release the left knee down, scoot your hips back a little bit and bring the forearms all the way down to the floor. So this is stretching the hip of that leg that's folded out in front. You should feel a nice deep stretch in that, that hip. So I just want you to relax and take a couple deep breaths. And as you exhale, really allow the hip to sink down, relax your shoulders as well. Take one more breath. And then go ahead and lift yourself all the way up, step back into downward facing dog with the same stretch on the other side. So downward facing dog for a breath, and then left knee forward. Release back and bring your forearms all the way down. So these hip 
And hamstring stretches are really important to do, and it's a, the best time to do them is after your workout, when your, warm up, warm, your muscles are already warm. So if you're in a big hurry and you skip your stretches for some reason, make sure you come back and do them later in the day. But ideally, you just make that extra two, three minutes to get it done right at the end of your workout. Take one more breath. I have plenty of other videos, by the way. If you want more stretching, you know, subscribe to my channel and get lots more videos. Okay, go ahead and swing that back foot out and around. Sit up nice and tall. Grab a puppy if you have one or your kid. <laughs> and close your eyes, sitting up as tall as you can. Open your chest, open your posture, breathing deeply. And exhale, you can bring your hands back to heart center. The light within me honors and acknowledges the same light that is within you. Thank you for joining me for this mini workout. Again, gym boss details are in the notes of this video. And subscribe to my channel. Feel free to send me requests. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye. You're a good boy.